COBRE stands for the Center of Biomedical Research Excellence. This is a um, grant that is supported by the National Institutes of Health. It's an institutional development award. And over those 10 years, we've funded approximately 29 projects. Several junior faculty members have made it through the academic ranks and been tenured and promoted. We're very proud of that. And we've supported two core facilities, one in protein expression and uh, purification and biophysical characterization, and a second core that focuses on X-ray crystallography as well as X-ray diffraction studies. Structural biology is really a methodological approach, and it's sort of a common tool in our toolbox of biochemists and biophysics. It therefore applies to many different research topics. So the projects that we funded have run the gamut from projects that are related to perhaps microbial infections, you know, infectious disease, to mammalian signal transduction, enzyme characterization. And what underlies all of this is wanting the structural knowledge of what the proteins of interest, what they look like and how they function. The COBRE grant uh, provides support to various researchers in several different, different mechanisms. Once they have that financial support, they come and use this facility, which is run on a fee-for-service basis where we provide the expertise and the instrumentation that they may not have in their own labs. This is a, a unique opportunity for junior researchers in that we've worked with a lot of people with either very little or no background in structural biology. Having a facility like this gives them the opportunity to get involved in structural biology, to find the structures, three-dimensional structures of the proteins that they're working with. We've worked with almost 50 research groups almost entirely within Oklahoma. About half of them have been from within the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry, and the others have been from other research groups within OU and other research institutions within the state. The Colbury funding has provided um, critical infrastructure needed to build cores that have been um, absolutely essential to what we've achieved. So to have the infrastructure of the equipment, um, state-of-the-art technology, as well as the expertise, is, is really important and is not found anywhere else in the state of Oklahoma. So it really cemented the University of Oklahoma as the nexus of structural biology in the state. Colbury funding as a junior faculty was absolutely transformational. When I joined OU, I was able to expand my research program into a relatively new field called toxin antitoxin or TA systems. These are found throughout bacteria and they're basically little protein switches. When the two small proteins interact in the cell, they're off, but when they cease interacting, those switches turn on. And so the focus of our research is both looking at how those two proteins interact, as well as how the on state affects bacterial cell growth. What we discovered is this long extensive interface between these two proteins actually has a little weak spot in the middle. And when we tweak it just right, we can greatly affect how these two proteins interact. I've been at OU for seven and a half years. So the main research focus in my lab is understanding CRISPR-Cas mechanisms. So CRISPR-Cas systems are methods by which bacteria protect them from phage infections. So we want to understand the mechanisms like protein, RNA, DNA interactions of these systems because these mechanisms will help us develop better biotechnology tools. Coming into COBRA, I had different levels of mentorship. So I have to say I had mentors from our department to help me get navigate the requirements of the department. I had uh, mentors from other universities who will provide a broader scientific knowledge and also a mentor who is very specific on my field of interest, CRISPR field. So this having these different levels of mentorship was really helpful in discussing my research ideas to make sure are they going to work? What are the pitfalls? How should I re-strategize and things like that. So that has been very helpful. I've been at OU for 18 years and my uh, research is focused on trying to understand how the eye regulates its growth um, in children and adults. And this is important because a lot of uh, people have problems with eye growth regulation. Their eyes become too long and this affects their vision and it's, it's called myopia. We've been studying the sclera, the white of the eye, and we found that the sclera is a very dynamic tissue, even in the adult. And so we've been really interested in understanding 
what are the chemical compounds that are involved in controlling scleral growth. What I hope to do is modify the design of one of my compounds that we developed through the Cobre um, as a target uh, for myopia control. And we want to modify that compound by making it more stable. And so that's going to involve collaborations with some of the Cobre investigators to help do the chemistry and the design. We are on the cusp of a phase three um, application um, that we hope will be funded by the NIH and will provide five additional years of funding to help transition our core facilities to a sustainable future. So we're looking for sort of long-term stability and a strong user base for our research cores so that they can be self-sustaining after grant support.